Hi, you guys again. My name is Daryl, and I have successfully completed another trip to the bins. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't get a whole heck of a lot of stuff this trip, but I wanted to show you the things I did get. They're pretty awesome. And right now, I'm going to pair these cowboy boots up with this dress. And I have to say, I have no idea what it's going to look like. It might look like... I don't know, an old lady that's trying too hard. <laughs> anyway, this dress on its own is super cute. It's from a brand called Jackie the Label, and it wasn't an expensive dress. It's, um, you know, a younger, for, yeah, well, I don't want to say it's for younger people because, heck, I like it, and I'm not younger. But <laughs> so here we go. What do you think? I have another pair of sandals that I could pair it up with too that are so cute. I got a lot of shoes this time. And then how about this jacket? And I think this has got, it's a couple of flaws in the front with some, some marks. I don't know how to get those out, but this is a real leather jacket. It's from Frankie B. And I'm gonna squish myself into it because it does not fit me. But I wanna see how it looks with the dress and the boots. <laughs> this is all, you know, <laughs> So fun for me. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is it almost doable? You see how much more this coat needs to. <laughs> I'm square dancing. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of cute. If it were a tiny bit bigger, I would possibly keep it, but you can see my arms look like sausage in their casings here. <laughs> so this is such a nice base piece that I may keep it on for the rest of the video. This is just um, um, a, a, what do you call these things? These bra top thingies. And I like these because they stay up, they're comfortable, and they have cups in them so they don't completely flatten you out um, like a lot of them do. Um, but they're nice to wear under dresses um, and things that are strapless or one shoulder. And then these are uh, just a no-name brand of black leggings, but I like them. I like how high-rise they are. They're a nice fit through here, and they have these fun... Um, butt scrunch thingies. I don't know what they're called. They're supposed to lift and separate. <laughs> Probably the best piece out of this trip. This is cashmere. And I know you can't touch it, but it is really thick. And um, I just love this nice loose sort of boyfriend fit with the side um, slits. And, you know, it's super easy to to wear it buttoned or unbuttoned. And then I um, got this other scarf as well, and this is cashmere, and it's cashmere knit, so it's really soft, cozy, and uh, nice, huh? <laughs> So it's starting to get cold here. <laughs> so while I'm all cozied up here, let me show you these things. I was hoping these would fit my husband, but they don't. They're a little too small. They're in excellent condition. And um, they're a brand that's called Vessi Footwear. And what they do is a, um, a shoe that it is waterproof, only they feel like socks when you put them on. They're just, they're like um, all birds. You know, this easy to care for, lightweight shoe. Um, but they don't fit my husband, so I will list these. Um, look for my eBay store uh, in the video description. These cost $105, and I'll list them probably for like 20 
And then I got these just because... <laughs> Now I'm going to be giving my age away a little bit here by saying that when I was little, I had to wear saddle shoes to school up until sixth grade. Um, and fortunately, I didn't have to wear the black and white ones. I, I got to wear the brown ones. And we had to buy them from the Stride Right store because... Back then, the thinking was is that your feet were in a formative stage, and so you had to have proper fitting shoes with the proper arches and, and the correct width. And um, so um, I was branded forever as having a wide foot. I, w I was so happy to get into high school and find out really that I had a, a medium-sized foot width. <laughs> but anyway... Aren't these darling? These are from Buster Brown. And I'm going to put them down in my basement where I put a bunch of other curious things like um, my orange rotary dial telephone. So they're going to go next to that. So, and then some more sparkly flip-flops. Girl can't have too many of these, I think. And these are from a brand called WB Atlas, and this, it appears to be what they do. So I did run comps on all of these, and I just don't know what I did with them. Uh, this is uh, from Fox Racing, and this is um, uh, like a, a bike, biking jacket that you would crunch up little tiny into your backpack and then pull it out when it started dumping rain on you, or if you start hitting gale force winds. <laughs> and so I just think this is super cute. Um, you see how lightweight this is. And this color is Purple Haze. And I believe these run about $90. I can't remember what it was. Well, I'm fresh out of pants. <laughs> <laughs> at least for this bin haul and uh so i'll keep these uh these leggings on and um this is a stretch wool blend shirt so it's really pretty nice fabric um from ann taylor and i don't know if you can see the the side tie here um but it's just a nice cross between uh a workwear, a dressy, and a casual piece because depending on what you put it with, you could um, wear this just about any way you liked. So here's the tie. And you can make it as tight or loose as you want. So while I'm here, um, because I'm too lazy really to stick these on my feet, I might still do it because they are really cute. They're a lot cuter on than they look like this. <laughs> These are from Crown Vintage and they had an original price tag of about $100. They still have the DSW tag on it um, for $70 and then 30% off, um, but they are brand new this block heel so i think they were going to be super cute in the summer and i may just show you what they look like with these these other two summer dresses from lily pulitzer that i have so i don't know don't hold your breath or anything <laughs> for some reason super dry just does not quite have the following here that it does in the asian market and um i don't know why i rather like the stuff um i've gotten a couple of pieces while we were um on vacation um in in other areas uh where they carry a little more prominently um but this is this actually has a name to it and I don't remember what it was um, but anyway just a super cute hoodie I love the the long line of the zipper here and then the white straps um, I just think it's just a super cute sporty outerwear piece this is a super gorgeous piece it's a uh, merino wool it's from J crew one of their classic sweaters. Um, you'll find them in a gazillion colors. And it's just a nice, easy piece to wear. Um, you know, it's something that uh, 
needs kind of a basic top. Um, also, I just read today that pink is going strong through the fall, and so the Barbie cord trend has not ended. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I love pink. I had pink hair for a very, very long time. So this is one of the dresses that are from Lily Pulitzer. And um, it's a tiny bit too small for me. It's a size small. And it's just a little bit snug across here. But I think it'd be fine if I wore it with a blazer or um, a sweater. And actually, it really isn't that bad right now. But let me show you the rest of it. <laughs> isn't it sweet? You know I like these kinds of dresses, huh? <laughs> it has pom-poms. Anyway, this dress, I don't know if it was ever worn, maybe once. It's in beautiful, excellent shape. So I was really happy that this dress fit me. Um, I love this type of fabrication. Um, this, I don't know what you call this either. It's an applique of some sort, lace applique. Um, but um, it actually does fit and uh, very wearable. So we'll pull it out in the spring and we'll wear it this summer. I just think it's adorable. I don't know if I should be wearing clothing that is adorable, but can't help myself. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna look, but I think it will be fine. Um, I'm gonna have to double check the name of this dress. It's um, and just an inexpensive dress, came from pennies of all places. And, um, but I'm really liking the floral print dresses with the, with the, um, Oh, the staggered hemlines and the fluttery sleeves. I just think they're gorgeous. This particular one is super easy to care for. You could probably throw it in a heap and, and it would look fine. Um, it's a polyester. And I've paired it up with these cute shoes from Crown Vintage. So I'm not sure how well you can see them. So, I think that's it, you guys. I have one other piece that didn't work for me. <coughs> Excuse me, it's too small. It's from Elevenses, and it's just this cute romper. I had high hopes for it. That's it, you guys, and uh, check out my other videos, and drop me a line. Thanks for watching.